Standard Physics. So in this class, we are going to discuss about a particle that is a charged particle moving in a magnetic field. It experiences a force that is magnetic force. If it is the same charge moving in both electric field and magnetic field, it experiences a force that is Lorentz force. So that is magnetic force and Lorentz force. So a charged particle. That if the charge is the particle means it may be a positive charge as well as negative charge. A charge moves in magnetic field. The charge experiences a force. That force is equal to Q times V cross B. So V is the velocity of the particle. B is the magnetic field. So F is equal to Q times V cross B. So both B and B are mutually perpendicular to each other. So it's a cross product. So force. F is also mutually perpendicular to both B and B. Then the same charge that may be a positive or negative moving in both electric field and magnetic field. So there is an electric field and magnetic field both are present. So the charge experience of force that force is Lorentz force. So F is equal to Q times E times V cross B. So again see just compare with these two equations if it is only the charge moves in the magnetic magnetic field itself it's only magnetic field f is equal to q times v cross b if it is both electric field and magnetic field f is equal to q times e then times v cross b then so force on a moving charge in the magnetic field so just more detail the force experienced by the moving charge in the magnetic field so already we know that magnetic force f is equal to q times v cross b so a cross b equal to a b sin theta so q v b sin theta so the magnetic force is directly proportional to the charge so they may ask in three marks so what is the force on a moving charge in a magnetic field somewhat so so simple if you know the formula f is equal to q v b sin theta you can write four points very easily so the magnetic force is directly proportional to that magnitude of the charge. So the charge value that may be 1 coulomb or 5 coulomb or 10 coulomb whatever it may be. The magnetic force is directly proportional to the magnitude of charge. Then the same magnetic force is directly proportional to the velocity of the particle. So what velocity it moves then the force is directly proportional to magnetic field that is in which what is the magnitude of magnetic field it depends upon the magnetic force. Then finally, the force is directly proportional to theta. So theta is somewhat very very important for particle. Consider so magnetic field in y direction, then velocity in x direction. So the particle moves in this direction. So what is the angle between the velocity and the magnetic field is theta. If the particle moves parallel to the magnetic field, so what is the angle here? Theta. If the particle moves in the magnetic field, magnetic field in y direction so just consider so the charge moves in this direction so if it is parallel or anti parallel if it is anti parallel means theta equal to 180 degree so sin 0 0 here a cross b equal to a b sin theta if theta equal to 0 totally the force the magnetic force is 0 so again the magnetic force is directly proportional to theta theta is the angle between velocity of the particle and magnetic field then the direction of magnetic force is always perpendicular to velocity and magnetic field. So just see if it is a positive charge. So the particle moves in this direction that is what is the angle between the magnetic field B and V it makes an angle theta but the force the magnetic force is always in upper direction if it is a positive charge just consider that thumb shows the direction of magnetic force that four fingers shows the direction of magnetic field then the middle finger shows the direction of velocity so all the three are mutually perpendicular just consider this and this perpendicular that is 90 degree this and this perpendicular 90 degree again this and this just just lift the thumb to here so all the three are mutually perpendicular so that is the direction of force is always perpendicular to the velocity and magnetic field so if it is a positive charge so the direction of force upwards if it is a negative charge the direction of force is downwards that's all so it is opposite to the positive charge the negative charge is downwards positive charge is upwards then if a charge moves parallel to the magnetic field so that if it is direction is parallel to the magnetic field or anti parallel to the magnetic field theta equal to 0 or theta equal to 180 degree so sin 0 0 or sin 180 also 0 
so you will get the value of magnetic field is zero if it is moves so in two conditions the charge is at rest in the magnetic field magnetic force is zero or if a charge moves with a velocity but it is parallel or anti parallel to the magnetic field the magnetic force is zero so these are the two conditions then if a particle moves with certain angle with velocity v with the magnetic field it experiences a magnetic force which is perpendicular just see perpendicular in this direction so velocity versus magnetic field then the force is in this direction like that if it is a positive charge if it is a negative charge outside outside the board so these are the seven points they may ask in three marks so what are the what are the that is force on a moving charge in a magnetic field then finally define tesla so what is by tesla tesla is a unit of magnetic field so just here from this f equal to b q v sin theta just sin theta sin i t is equal to all or all the three that is velocity magnetic field force are perpendicular to each other so theta equal to 90 degree so sin 90 equal to 1 so it's over so f m equal to b q v that's all so b is equal to f by q v so what is the unit of force newton what is the unit of charge that is coulomb what is the unit of velocity meter second power minus 1 then newton meter coulomb by second just coulomb by second is what what is by coulomb by second coulomb by second means current i is equal to q by t so q is charge then time so coulomb by second is ampere so they are writing like that so coulomb by second is ampere so newton ampere power minus 1 meter power minus 1 so 1 tesla is equal to newton ampere power minus 1 meter power minus 1 then so come to the point so what's my 1 tesla so that is magnitude of magnetic field here unit charge so just see unit charge moving with unit velocity experience a unit force that is equal to 1 tesla just from this formula we can write the definition for tesla here unit charge moving with unit velocity experience a unit force that is equal to magnetic field that is 1 tesla it's somewhat so so easy from the formula so in this class we have discussed that is Lorentz force here if a charge moving in a magnetic field if it is moving in a magnetic field it produces a magnetic force both in electric field and magnetic field you will just you need to add that is product of just electric field that is Lorentz force then that f is equal to q v q into v cross b so velocity magnetic field and force all are mutually perpendicular to each other so the angle is 90 degree then from this formula from this formula we are writing four points also the fifth point also so the theta is equal to 90 degree so the direction of magnetic force and the velocity and the magnetic field all are mutually perpendicular to each other then if it is a positive charge it's upwards if it is a negative charge it's downwards then the charge moving parallel to the magnetic field means parallel or anti parallel theta equal to 0 or 180 degree then the magnetic force is value is 0 so the seven points so finally definition for tesla so one tesla so how we take from this formula they are writing b is equal to f by q v just see the theta theta equal to 90 degree so sin 81 will cut it then b is equal to f by q v so f by q v so unit charge having unit velocity having experiencing a unit force that is equal to 1 tesla so 1 tesla is equal to newton coulomb meter second power minus 1 or 1 tesla is equal to newton ampere power minus 1 meter power minus 1 they may ask whatever they think so you need to ready which is tough or which is easy they may ask okay so